uh, Gary Kurtz came to me. He says, we're going to need a trailer, you know. And I said, this is about a month into shooting. We had hardly any film. He says, we're going to need a trailer. I said, trailer with what? I don't have anything. You know, he says, well, you don't need it just yet, but keep it in mind. So I had started out editing trailers. So I had some background in this. So about maybe a month later, I started thinking, they're going to ask me that for that trailer pretty soon. Let me, you know, you see what I've got, you know. So I was looking through the footage and I wrote a script, what I thought was sort of a deliberately cheesy trailer. The idea was that Star Wars was based on movie serials from the 30s. That would have been the inspiration, Buck Rogers and those kind of things. And I tried to do the trailer in the style of trailers of that era. So it went something along the lines of uh, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo rescued the Princess Leia from, from Darth Vader. But the story didn't end there. Luke Skywalker and Han Solo rescued the princess, destroyed the Death Star, but their story didn't end there. And then I wrote some other stuff. And I put it together with, uh, I'd written this script, and I, I needed a, uh, a narration to use to, for cutting. And I thought, well, who can I ask? And at that time, Mark Hamill's wife was expecting a baby any minute. And... Mark was walking around the set with a cardboard sign hanging from his neck saying, don't ask. Because I guess everyone was coming up to him and saying, you know, has the baby come yet? Has the baby come yet? You know, so he had this sign around his neck saying, don't ask. So I thought, you know, I should just probably leave Mark alone. So I thought, well, who else can I ask? And there was Harrison. So I went to Harrison. I said, Harrison, I'm doing this trailer and I need a, uh, I need a narration. He said, so you, you want an American actor, I guess. I said, yeah, I, yeah, I would. He says, and pickers are kind of slim, I guess. I said, yeah, there's not, you know. So he, he said, all right, I'll do it, you know. So I said, come on, it'll take half an hour, we'll, you know, do it. We'll go to the stage and after the end of the day one day, you know. Half an hour, it would be done. And So he did it. So he's great. He did one, a couple of takes. I said, play it like a, a newsboy announcing an extra edition. So he did, and I cut the trailer. I laid in music from the first film. Threw in a few sound effects. Mixed it, sent it off to California. I got a phone call from one of George's assistants. Uh, he says, George loves the trailer. I said, oh, great. That's great. He says, and we love the announcer. Who is that? We want to use him for the final. And I said... That's Harrison. He says, Harrison? I said, Harrison Ford. You know, he's one of the stars of our movie. Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo. And they hadn't recognized him because he played it so differently from the way, you know, he was overplaying instead of underplaying, which is how Han was more better acted than the, the newsboy. So anyway, I went and found Harrison. I said, Harrison, we're a hit. He says, what do you mean? I said, well, George heard the trailer. He loves the trailer. And he wants to use you for the final for, for the final mix. So he said, well, wait a second. Hang on. They pay big money for this kind of stuff. I know I know, because my father used to do voiceovers. He said, how much are you getting for the trailer? I said, me? I'm not getting anything. He says, what? I said, no, I just get my, you know, get my salary for cutting the movie. And he said, oh, that's not right. He says, I'm going to ask for 10 grand. I'm going to give you half. So at that point... Gary Kurtz comes by and he says, Harrison, can I talk to you for a second? He says, sure, Gary. And he puts his arm around his shoulder and he goes off and he gives me a wink. So they go off and they talk and he comes back. He says, I only had the nerve to ask for five grand. So about a week later, I got a check for $2,500 from Harrison, which is, you know, a lot of money for me then. And then uh, at George's 50th birthday party, years later, uh, I was at the ranch, and I saw Harrison. And I went up to him, and I said, I want to thank you again for that trailer money, you know. He had forgotten all about it. He didn't remember it. I don't know if he remembered it, even when I reminded him. I said to him, you know, I'm really thrilled the way your career has turned out. And he looked at me, and he said, imagine how I feel. <laughs> 